Hey there, friends on YouTube. My name is Jason, sometimes known as the JTL. This is Painfully Honest Tech Tech, so honest it hurts. Thanks for stopping by if it's your first time here. Really appreciate it. If you've been here before, thanks for coming back. I'm here today to discuss the AirPods Pro. The AirPods Pro and whether or not they've sort of stood the test of time. This video is sponsored by Plex. I'm a huge fan of Plex and their integration with Tidal streaming service and my own collection of music. It's made my digital music listening experience better than it's ever been since the invention of digital listening. Couple that with their ability to give you the access to all your own movies and TV shows anywhere on the world with Plex Pass and the ability to stream live TV and it's maybe the most powerful streaming solution out there but it just got better. Now Plex has free movies and TV streaming as well. Just this weekend, I watched the original Red Dawn. I mean, it's one of my favorite movies from when I was a kid. And I'm looking forward to checking out other stuff they got there, like Rain Man and Raging Bull, Apocalypse Now. They got Roadhouse. Uh, Roadhouse. Now <laughs> They also have a bunch of newer titles as well, so there's something there for everyone. In fact, right now they got a ton of holiday stuff as well for you and the family. Plex has changed the way that I enjoy my media and they keep adding new stuff to the service. If they keep going like this, Plex will be the only app I need for almost all of my entertainment desire. If you've watched my other video when they first came out, an uh, audio files impression of the AirPods Pro, I'll link that if you haven't checked it out. It'll be either up here in a card or it'll be, um, you know, like in the description or something like that. But I figured it was worth taking the time to stop and talk about these guys uh, after the new car smell <laughs> has worn off, after they've, uh, they've kind of They've, I've gotten used to them after I've worn them in a little bit, maybe. Um, they're they're very clean. Look at that. No earwax whatsoever. And I didn't clean them out. <laughs> so when they first came out, when I, when I first got them, I drove to Des Moines, Iowa, which is about two hours and something away from where I live in Iowa, and, uh, and got them from the Apple store at the mall there because uh, I wasn't able to get them sent to me uh, via mail in time for, you know, the release date. So it was a big thing. Maybe I should have made it a vlog. I don't know. But um, I brought them home. I put them in. I was initially incredibly impressed. I mean, a lot of people have asked me, well, how do they sound compared to the AirPods or the AirPods 2? And that is not even really a, a that is not even really a comparison. I was a fan of the AirPods mostly because they were very, very convenient and uh, and easy to use, especially if you're using an Apple device, but you can use them with other devices. They sounded only okay, only in some situations, but they worked so well that they were that they were just it, you know, it, these things have sold a lot and there's a reason for it they're very convenient they're very easy to use but they look kind of funny and uh people made fun of them etc cetera, etc cetera. so when the airpods pro came out i was just sitting there thinking like okay what do they mean by pro we all know that apple likes to use the word pro in what they're doing here. And it, there's nothing pro about these. Let's just get this out of the way. Uh, I have found no pro application for these in the two months that I've had them, but I have still enjoyed them. Now, now, now you might have noticed and you might be wondering why. Why does my AirPods Pro case look like that? Well, I'll tell you, I got a, I got a, a puppy and um, made the mistake of leaving the AirPods on my bed uh, while I got up and went to do something. I came back, they were in his mouth. Did you eat these? Did you eat them? Did you eat them? Did you eat them? Oh, nope. Oh. Now they still, they still work. They still work. The only problem is every time I want to uh, use them, <laughs> I have to repair them with the device, which is a pain, but you can get another one of these cases for I think like 89 or 90, $99. So I'm gonna do that, although they want you to, uh, there's a serial number inside of this and they want you to send in that serial number and all that kind of stuff. And I, I just haven't gotten around to doing it, the holidays, et cetera, et cetera, blah, blah, blah. How have the AirPods 2 fared for me? Now I was, I wanted to make sure that I wasn't getting, you know, sort of a false positive, that I wasn't sort of overthinking uh, the AirPods in a vacuum and not really getting a sense of whether or not they were actually as good as they were. So so last night, 
I went through and I did a little listening test. Now I didn't I didn't expect the AirPods Pro to to be better than a lot of these headphones. I just wanted to get a sense of just across the wide gamut where the AirPods Pro sit in terms of audio quality. Now, if you're looking for a review where people are gonna talk about their convenience and how to use them and whatever and blah, 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 there are plenty of videos like that all over YouTube. This one is gonna be more about my feelings on the audio quality after two months. So. I've been using them. I've been using them to watch TV. It's very convenient. If you don't know this, very convenient. You can use your AirPods Pro or your AirPods to connect to your Apple TV and listen to TV that way. So I listened to like four plus hours of TV the other night uh, with noise canceling on with the AirPods Pro in. And, and I did get about four and a half hours of battery life, which is just about what they said Um this is just about what they said you should expect from the AirPods Pro. Now, that means that I sat there and watched four and a half hours worth of TV, which maybe isn't the best use of my time, but I, I, I regress or I digress. I, it's not, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so what, what did I do? First, I tried the AirPods themselves, the original AirPods. These are actually the AirPods 2 with the wireless, with the wireless charging case. Um, there is no competition between the AirPods uh, and and the AirPods Pro, the AirPods sound like you've stuffed um, you've stuffed Q-tips in your ears, and then put in the AirPods, and then started to listen to music um, compared to the AirPods Pro. That's that's really how bad they sound comparatively. Comparatively, now do they sound that bad on their own? No, but they've never been known for their their awesome audiophile sound, and they never will be. They're just very convenient and very easy to use, and that's that's their that's the reason that they're as popular as they are. Okay, a lot of people don't seem to care about the audio quality that they get, and so these things are perfect. However, these guys, these guys, sound amazing especially compared to that. Now, what do, what do I mean by sound amazing when I'm talking about this? I wanted to try and find some terms to define what it was that I meant so that you guys could understand and you could, uh, you could sort of just get a sense. Now, they sound very tight in their frequency response. So bass is where bass is supposed to be, and it's not sort of bleeding into any of the other frequency ranges. Mid-range is sitting where it's supposed to be. All of those things are sitting right where they need to be. There's no sort of analog wooliness to these headphones. I, I want to try and find a way to explain this in layman's terms so more people can understand what I'm talking about. Everything is sitting in just the right place and it's tight and it has a little snap to it and they just sound good. It's a very pleasing sound musically. Uh, and I've tried them with all different kinds of music, ambient, classical, jazz, rock, whatever it is that you want to throw at it. I've, I'm not a big listener of rap, so you know if you want to know how rap sounds with them, then maybe you want to go someplace else. But they sound good with everything, and they sound good. They, they sound good. <laughs> Last night, first I started with the AirPods, and then I kind of went crazy. I decided I'd go to the Beats Studio 3s. Studio Wireless 3s. Up until recently, these were the only other noise-canceling headphones that Apple offered uh, in, 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 at all, and they were in the Beats line. So the Studio 3 Wireless, they've been around for a few years. They have active noise cancellation. They have the W1 chip that I think the original AirPods had. They are a very decent headphone. They're very comfortable. The reason I have these and not the Sony WXMYZ, whatever it is, or the the bows or something like that. It's because these these to me are just very comfortable. They're very comfortable. The the pads are very comfortable, and and they don't they don't you know no pressure points, no clamping force problems on my head. I like I like them. Okay, I don't need to justify it to you. I like them. And uh, <laughs> but but they, they don't sound like as good as some of those other headphones. Normally it doesn't matter. Normally I'm listening to stuff in in traveling or in an airport or I'm listening to audiobooks or podcasts or whatever and and it you know for those kinds of things it doesn't matter even for music just by themselves if you're not comparing them to other things they do sound pretty good they do sound pretty good but compared to the AirPods Pro I was amazed 
I was amazed at how much tighter, cleaner, and clearer the AirPods Pro were compared to the Beats Studio 3 wireless. Now, these things, regular price, $349, which is $100 more expensive than these guys. $349. I don't think I paid $349 for them. I probably got them on sale. They're on sale right now at Best Buy. I saw for $189. That is a very good price for these. That's that's a considerable amount. I'm not a mathematician. I'm not, I can't give you the percentage off. It's a decent number. So these things are good headphones. And for those of you who are sort of like beat snobs and just like stick your nose up at beats, beats since Apple purchased beats has slowly, slowly improved their line of headphones to where they sound good. Now they have the beats solo pro again, pro. All right. Nobody's going to use the beats solo for anything professional, but the beats solo pro have noise cancellation and they are the most brand new. They can, they came out about the same time as the AirPods pro. I have not had a chance to try them yet. They're $300. I would wait on those. I would wait on those to find out, you know, how people feel about them over a longer period of time because $300 for on-the-ear headphones is too much for me. I'm not a fan of on-the-ear headphones. I like over-the-ear or in-the-ear, but not on-the-ear because it makes my ears hurt. Beats Studio 3 Wireless, noise cancellation. Apple AirPods Pro, noise cancellation. Noise cancellation on the AirPods Pro is better. It's better probably because the seal in your ears is tighter and because the, the technology that they're using in there is newer. And it's not like other noise cancellation in the sense that you don't notice that, that they're like, you, the noise cancellation is not audible. There's no hiss, there's no thump, there's no anything that just sound good. These guys, they're kinder and gentler kind of noise cancellation that doesn't cancel out quite as much noise, but it also doesn't give you like a lot of pressure in your ears, which is a good thing. So I tried those against these. I, I went to get all the, all the sort of audiophile headphones that I have around me right now. Uh, these are the Sennheiser HD eight HD five, eight X's from mass drop. And uh, they they are very good sounding headphone and they, <laughs> They sound good in a way like there's, we're not really comparing these. Okay. These sound, these still sound good. Even after I've had these in my ears, what I found with audiophile headphones is that there's more, there's more sort of girth and space and oomph to the sound in a, in a very, in a very pleasing way compared to these where these are more clinical. These are more tight and clinical than, than these, but I tried these, I tried these, uh, hi-fi man, H E X X. 4XX from Mass Drop, which are planar magnetic headphones, which are something entirely different. These might be the best sounding headphones I have right now. I'm reviewing these. If you want to see that review, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And I tried them against these AKG K7XXs, which actually these these blew these away. These <laughs> these the AirPods Pro sound a lot better than these AKGs. I don't I don't know why. I don't know why. The AKGs are are Usually a good headphone, but compared to the AirPods Pro, they were very dull. They were very, they were just indistinct. I like the sound of the AirPods Pro a lot more. I wanted to do this. I wanted to stop in. I wanted to say, okay, how do I feel about the AirPods Pro after two months? And after two months, I can still say that I use them on a regular basis, even though my dog chewed up the case and it makes it a little bit more of a pain. I use them all the time. I enjoy them quite a bit. They are still very comfortable. The controls are still much easier to use than the original AirPods. The feature set is there. $250 is the right price for these headphones. And if you have $250 to spend, I would spend them on these headphones as opposed to anything else in that price range. I've talked about the Sony, uh, the Sony in-ear headphones. I didn't care for those. I did a review comparing those They're down in the description below. Two months later, the Apple AirPods Pro are probably my favorite headphone right now. I mean, overall, overall, I've got, I've got these that sound better, but these overall are the headphone that I will most often reach for because they, uh, because of the convenience and the sound quality. So there you go. What do you think? Have you tried the Apple AirPods Pro? Have, <laughs> 
<laughs> I, I'd, I'd really love to hear what you guys have, have to say. Uh, lots of people think I'm kind of crazy about the way that I feel about these, but I do. I feel this way. I feel very impressed with the AirPods Pro. I'm not afraid to say it. I'm not afraid to, to let people know how I feel. And so that's what I've done. Anyway, thanks so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. If this was your first time here and you want to come on back again, then you can like, subscribe, bell, notify yourself. Check out Plex, our sponsor today. They, um, they... They do such a fantastic job of blending together your own music with Tidal. It sounds great. Uh, Tidal high-quality tracks sound awesome with the AirPods Pro. Um, so check out Plex down in the description below. Uh, please like, subscribe, bell, notify. And until the next time, my name's Jason, sometimes known as the JTL. This is Painfully Honest Tech. Tech so honest it hurts. Until the next time, I'm out.